What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Wilfords. We haven't been posting a whole lot of videos of us traveling because of uh, work and also uh, economy and stuff. Things are very expensive. So it's a little harder to have extra money to go do things. And it's good to come back down here. It's been a little while since we've been to Pigeon Forge. We used to come down here pretty often. We're going to be uh, going around doing some wine tasting today. We'll get some clips. Let's get to having some fun. This is our room. Paid a whole fifty-three dollars for it. <laughs> Got a balcony, jacuzzi tub, right here on the strip. But we're on the back side of the hotel, so you can't see anything really. Rainy day in Pigeon Forge. Over there is our indoor pool and stuff. Alright, we're eating at the Wood Grill Buffet this morning for some breakfast. It's pretty empty, especially for Memorial Day weekend here in Pigeon Forge. We got cobblers over here. That's the dessert end. This is some of the breakfast. Get pancakes. Yeah, I see now. Yeah, this is the other side of the breakfast. Biscuits and gravy. Very dependent. We're staying over here at the Grand Smokies Resort. They had a pretty good deal on Priceline because of the construction. And it's on Memorial Day, so it's like 200 and what, 30 for two nights. <clears throat> Which for a resort with the indoor heated pool and stuff, Everywhere else right now, you'd pay about four or five hundred bucks for just two nights, which is nuts. So this is a really good deal. It's right by the Wood Grill Buffet, right behind it. You got the wax museum and stuff over there. They even have a game room. Nico would be driving me nuts over this game room. Yeah. That's the lobby in there. There's the food vending machines here by the pool. And here's the pool. You got a water slide. A little kitty pool. It is a heated pool. You got a little charging station you can sit at. Seating area over here. Pretty big hotel. They're in the middle of remodeling right now, so they got yeah, they got like fifty thousand green chairs everywhere and stuff. But work in progress. It's a nice place. That tree's pretty cool. Another little sitting area right there. Headed back to the room before we go do some shenanigans. I am very curious on the house right there. You got like a business of some sort up on the hill. This is all on the main strip. We're here at the hotel behind the wood grill. And this is in the back of the parking lot. And there's a house right there. It looks like it's for sale. That looks like a for sale sign by the tree. But it looks definitely like a 1960s or 70s style home. 
I bet the price tag on that's crazy because I mean you're literally right here this is a resort that we're staying at and there's a house right there for sale today we're just gonna do our own little wine tour and uh, drive to a bunch of different ones I guess see it again i'm sure <laughs> we're headed to hillside i didn't get a clip of it but traffic's just now starting to pack up down here we come in friday late in the afternoon after we got done with work and there wasn't no traffic it was like pretty dead down here even at the where we're staying at the resort over there it was pretty empty and i was like this kind of weird for a memorial day weekend uh but i i enjoy it so it's not overcrowded like it has been down here lately but we're about at this first winery on the way down we are going to be in some traffic and i can't stand the sitting but I guess we're going to deal with it for a little bit all right pull in over here at the first one we have some probably older videos of us doing some wineries way back in the day if y'all want to scroll through and find them Here at the winery, they got some funny uh, stickers. This one, that's pretty funny. And where was that one? That pothead. Pothead. Oh, there's a smaller one. Troublemaker, Zeus needs this. <laughs> I showed that one. Uh, don't stress me out. Oh, I would like that sticker. This one. So with Lily. Look. Sorry, I can't. I have plans with my dog. <laughs> so our opinion on good on the bet better ones on that one was definitely the Outblush, which is a Muscadine, and I really like the Indian Summer as like a blend of uh, blueberry and lemon. That stuff is really good. The Outblush though. Uh, is red and white. The Outblush is red and white. Muscadine grapes blended together, I guess. And um, if you pay, you can go, you can taste everything that's on the list. Uh, free tastings are only four. You only get four tastings, and that's it. Uh, it's only $5 a person uh, to do the entire list. And I'll tell you um, if uh, you can't hold down your alcohol pretty good, it It'll definitely get you if you want to do the whole list at every winery because there's a ton around here. <laughs> I don't advise that if you're driving. So, um, but this place is really good. They always have a, I think that's Casey's favorite winery. So to her, that one's the best. But we're going to go taste the rest of them. They actually gave us a paper for uh, their wine trail for all their wineries. And we're going to follow it. We're rolling up on the next one now. This is the Apple Barn and Cider Mill. Sure, if a lot of y'all come down here, you already know about this place. But we're doing the wine tastings, and that's all we're doing. So we're at number two on the list. Not really videoing at the tasting, so they've been talking a lot to us, and I don't want to like flash the phone in their face with a video. Um, so I've just been getting little clips while we're in there tasting and showing the menus and uh, just telling y'all what we pick off the list so you can try for yourselves. This is completely free to do their wine trails. This is the Apple Barnes Winery and all their wines over here. We got to get in line here. So, I guess we're going to the Apple Barn next for the cider and give that a try. That way we can get our glasses. You get two, what, two free, two free glasses? Long glasses, yeah. Yeah, uh, for the tour. And the tour is free. So, I mean, you'll end up with two free souvenirs. Um, 
it is free if you just do the free tastings it's extra to get you know more tastings then it's like five dollars a person at each one so if you want to get have a little more fun and throw a little more money out there you can but if you want to do it completely free i think each one they all have four tastings at each one that you can taste for free and also get a free souvenir by the end of it so yeah a little uh grapevines throughout when you're coming in over here by the creamery and the apple barn and all that stuff We're in the cider barn now. Oh wow. The cheese look pretty good. Let me see if it's top. They got meat in there. Cornmeal. All kinds of good stuff. Candies. The candy's good too. They got baskets, just a lot it's up there. Cool. Got an apple cellar. This literally looks like something you'd see out in the country. So they did a good job with theming in here. Mm -hmm. Those are cute. I bet that's also good though. You see the coolest popcorn. Microwave popcorn. I mean, this is a little nuts if that's for one apple. $2.98 for an apple. This is $1.98 on that one. $2.98 on the Granny Smith. That's a little nuts. All the fresh cider they got. I love me some apple cider. So they got a cider bar entrance for fried apple pies, apple donuts, and dumplings. And this place looks pretty spiffy. It's pretty neat. This is our third. Nice. So, um, also, the 75 cent coffee is the small one. I mean, it's a real small one, but I mean, it's still a decent amount of coffee to drink. This is the medium, medium, small. And I think mediums are 89 cent, I think she said, or something. These are 75 cent, just so you know your difference. But it's still a decent little cup of coffee, especially when it's hot out. You don't want nothing big. Get you a little one, 75 cents. Casey got an apple stack cake. So that was also included with everything else we got for like $10.30. And uh, that looks really good. So we'll know later and how good it is. This shows how fresh everything is because they're literally showing you they're making this stuff fresh in here. They sell all kinds of like apple, apple fritters and apple pie, all kinds of stuff. That was the cider house for like the cider tastings. So if you're looking for something cheap to do in Pigeon Forge, wine trail, cheapest thing. Like I said, it's free and you get free gifts. You don't have to spend any money like we are in the videos. We're spending a little money here and there, but you ain't got to spend anything. You can literally just go through, do all the free tastings and you get something free. Stop. This is our third stop, and right. we got two free wine glasses. Right. Say that again. I don't know what I said. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> at, free, Rocky Top so at your third and fifth stop, you get a gift. This is our third stop, and we both got wine glasses. Like if you're a couple, and both of you have the map, mm -hmm. you both get glasses. So we got two of these at our third stop. We don't know what we're gonna get on our fifth stop. Uh, we'll show it when we get there, but this is the first gift that we got. And like I said, absolutely free. You ain't gotta buy stuff for nothing. You can do this wine trail for free and do free tastings and you'll get a free gift. 
third and fifth stop. I forgot to talk about the cider, um, cause I don't really like to drink a lot of cider because of uh, my body sucks. But it was really good. They had some good different flavors. How many do they have total? Like five, six, uh, nine, seven. I they have like eight or nine okay. total. Eight or nine like different flavors. Like three or four. Uh, they had a muscadine one that tasted just like the wine. It's really good. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a little tiny little uh, hidden little hole there at the apple barn stuff. Um, it's kind of tucked away. So it's in between like the ice cream shop and I guess like one of the, what was it? Like souvenir areas or something? Yeah. No it's way. not over in the actual full barn. That's where the bar is where we ate and got donuts and stuff. In case you're there and you're looking for it. So on to the next. We're finally getting in back into the little bit of traffic cluster going on. Like I said, we come in Friday afternoon on Memorial Day. There was no traffic yesterday at all. It looked pretty dead. Now it's moving very good. Earlier it's kind of clustered. Just to give you an idea, coming in. Like, we ain't done on the bad part yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Here it is. So here's the big cluster. We're still like, chilling this late. So we're gonna be chilling through here for probably about 15 minutes. Ten. Ten. Ten yeah. minutes. It says. Ten. All right. GPS says 10 minutes. So hopefully we're where we need to be here in a minute. I hate the Opry closed down. Just another empty building. There's still a sign way over there. You can hardly see it. This is the Opry. We had the next one. Mountain Valley. This We're at the next one. We're gonna get here and try this place. I'll get a little small clip of the inside of it. And uh, we'll let you know how the wine is here. Here's their daily specials. Over here by the old mill. For our last tasting. There's the blacksmith shop. That's cool. over there look okay try my nuts this is the list this is a hard cider place it used to be a winery so this was the second free thing we got on the wine trail here in pigeon forge pretty cool little bottle holder we got, both of us got one. Back again for dinner. Don't make your own hamburgers and stuff. They got free. Got crab cakes. So we got some uh, deviled eggs too. I didn't get those in the video. They had them over on the far end near the salad. This is the salad bar area. There's the devil eggs. All kinds of them. You know, an Italian area. Like spaghetti and stuff. And then it goes to seafood. Yeah. Steaks.
these are the same as breakfast over here brownies and cobbler over here you got marshmallows cookies cakes Dinner was also delicious. They have a bunch of different types of food in there. You got seafood, Mexican, Asian, Italian, and um, a bunch of desserts and other things you can choose from. For two adults, you're probably looking about just under $55. So uh, if you got a big family, you better dig deep in those pockets. <laughs> I got a little thing for Memorial Day. It's midnight and the pool is still open here. That's pretty cool. So is the arcade. Me and Casey playing some pool. We decided to stay one more night. And uh, each of the games and stuff in here are four tokens. So it's a dollar for four tokens. You get like 40 tokens for $10. It's probably the best deal. On this far table, they do need to get the correct number of balls because uh, they're a whole. There's a couple that are the same, and then we got two cue balls. Like it's a little messed up. Like they need to fix their uh, pull balls for sure. <laughs> I don't have a two. Don't... Old Jeep pickup truck. Found a neat little thing right here by the hotel. Uh, some Southern Gospel Hall of Fame Museum. They have this old bus that's out here. It's pretty cool. Blackwood Bros Quartet. You got some information about it. This bus is really neat. really nice inside too you got a little sleeper bunks in it you can see them in there nice seating they had a pretty fancy bus for a gospel quartet back in the day 55 tag more stuff about it That's really neat. There's tons of free things to see and look at here if you just get out and look for them. No. So we're over here in Ware's Valley. It's off the beaten path, but there's a lot of cool stuff over here there that's kind of hidden away. That's cool, they got oddity place. They had two piercings and oddities. Where's Valley is beautiful. To y'all that ain't been in the state, this looks just like home to us. <laughs> We're just an hour down the road. Hey, there's a winery. We got a winery down here too. Oh, that's a different one than I was telling you. That's Cade's Cove Winery. Oh, yeah. yeah, so. And, oh, they got, look, food trucks. They got all kinds of food trucks. They really want to check out the barbecue place, but that food truck place over there looks pretty interesting. That one sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Better view of the stuff across the road. A lot of wood carving up this way too. There's some wood carving. That's a cool looking joint. Sloppy hog. Pancake house. And we're going to another winery here. We're going to check this place out. Tennessee Mountain View Winery. I'm going to the winery. 
that's that moonshine place. This one's the winery. That was a moonshine place. First one. Uh, neat little old car sitting there. I wonder if it's a kit car or an actual one. That's pretty cool. We're here at this one. Snacks at this one, and cheese too. You get four free ones at this one, and you get to pick. So, um, this winery is really cool. Winery, it's you know, it's a, these are a lot different tasting than what you see on the main strip. So it's worth a drive down here and check these guys out. This one here had something all the other ones didn't that we we, we didn't see at any of them anyway. Um, you can get cheese boards, um, local chocolate boards, and uh, wine flights, uh, wine by the glass. A lot of them do wine by the glass, but none of them we've seen do like all the snacks like this guy has. Uh, we didn't try any of those today. We plan to come back and maybe try some but we've seen people outside sitting and eating them and they look pretty good. So they have good local cheese and local chocolate and I guess local meats too, cause they offer salami and sausage and stuff like that too. Um, worth definitely checking out if uh, you're down here in Wears Valley. They got moonshine tastings as well. We ain't doing moonshine today cause I don't want to get too sloppy. Um, there's a bunch of cool little side of the road neat things to look at through here so if you've never been to wares valley it's beautiful it's kind of a lot like cade's cove in a way i think it's near Cade. it's near cade's cove so it's not far from cade's cove but uh, they even got a bank down here if you need an atm and all that but we're getting back into the stick area i'm gonna try and show y'all some of the roadside stuff as we go through here um they got some cool stuff through here got your little side little um, tourist things even down here to buy like uh, souvenirs and stuff there's quite a few of those shops through here if you're from a good ways away and you're worried about buying souvenirs plenty of that stuff here in Wares Valley you don't see people advertising for cathead biscuits much anymore no you don't at all this is country down here yeah, like I love Pigeon Forge I love Gatlinburg but they've kind of become um, I don't know more too touristy more corporate ran tourist stuff don't get me wrong there's still a lot of cool stuff down there but um, if you want to see old school type Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg things um, escape down here to Wares Valley and this is what old Gatlinburg and old Pigeon Forge used to be like I'm not even kidding because um, I grew up in the early 90s and all that stuff I remember way back how it used to look and be and Wares Valley feels a lot like that old Pigeon Forge and old Gallenberg. So um, don't overcrowd it and don't ruin it. Uh, let it be stay the same down here. We got zip lines here. This is all Wares Valley. Little side of the road zip line. Beautiful little curvy road. So if you're from a flat state, you ain't really familiar with mountains. We're born and raised in East Tennessee. These mountains ain't that bad. Just cruise with the traffic, drive normal, you'll be fine, I promise. They got side-by-side -side rentals here too. And more touristy areas. I think these actually are woodcutters. They like make yeah, sculptures right with there. wood. Yeah. Who was that? Fuck up. Come back into the Pigeon Forge area. I was gonna say, but we're still in Ware's Valley. It's a valley, so we're just in the Pigeon Forge part of Ware's Valley. We got an antique mall if you like to come look at the antiquers. But I'll tell you, the best antique place is Tri Cities Flea Market back near us, up near Bristol. And come to Booth 10 and visit Tri Cities Thrift. I'll, ch I'll sell you everything cheap. All the same stuff you see down here. Ain't that right, baby? That's a cool little uh, amusement place with a mountain coaster, dinosaurs and all. I guess they got putt putt. We're stopping at Boss Hogs Barbecue. It's a bit of a 
tight little parking place. So we stopped here at Boss Hogs Barbecue in Wares Valley, just off the side of the road. It's very tight parking in here, just so you're prepared for it. I mean, there's plenty of parking once you get in here, but getting in and out is a pain. Looks like the owners live behind it, so this place must be great. They even got the Sasquatch. We ate at Boss Hogs Barbecue. Check that out. It's a pitcher seat. You can sit there. They have some cool art on the windows. Oh, that door is dope. I bet that costs some cash. Ooh, that's pretty cool. You know it did. Come on. Boss Hog says the finest folks come through come through these doors. Menu up there. Just a menu. You do get a pretty decent amount here. Pretty big sides for beans and stuff. Casey got collard greens and beans. I got fries and beans, and we both got pulled pork sandwiches. Not too shabby. Like they season it too. Mm -hmm. And then you got two different types of sauce. Thank you so much. Right. Somebody's having some fun over there. He's on an adventure. That's a pretty high drop, too, by the way. Might not look that bad on camera. That's good. But where he's standing, yeah, that's good about 15 foot. Why you get up there? I missed him even coming up there. He probably come down from the Vista, maybe. I, don't, I didn't see him climb out the truck. I don't think he knows. Backwards the leaves are. A little over two hours later, still in the woods. <laughs> It's wild. It's about to storm. It's getting wild. And this dude's still over in the woods. It's raining now. Our friend is still over there. Beautiful rain though. We got it scooting across the parking lot. Not sure if our friend's still in the woods. But it's coming down. He survived the storm. A regular old adventure. It's Dude has finally decided to call it quits. I never thought, thought he'd do it. <laughs> and back here at the Apple Barn, they're grabbing coffee and some donuts before we leave out four dollars <laughs> we've been in traffic for a minute coming out though and it's crazy because it's been kind of dead after saturday in pigeon forge but we're we're backed up pretty good we've been in traffic for 30 minutes just coming from <laughs> well it feels like two hours but. <laughs> 30 minutes is a long time though Normally this is smooth sound. That'll do it for this video. Please hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.